Gentlemen, welcome back to Wiseman Company. Today, let's take a look at tourniquets, but we're gonna look at tourniquets other than your classic cat and soft T wide. These two right here, everybody knows, these are kind of the industry standard as far as tourniquets go. Uh, the cat, probably the best for self-application. Uh, big windlass on it, can tighten it down really, really nice. The soft T wide metal windlass, really robust, kind of difficult to put on yourself, particularly your arm, because it kind of spins in place. You need to kind of pinch it and pin it in place to tighten it down. But these are great tourniquets. We're not going to look at these today, again, because everybody knows about these. We're going to look at some alternatives, some ones to stay away from, and some ones that might be up and coming winners. Uh, might knock these two off of their hill, but time will tell, right? So let's take a look. Okay, let's start with some options that I don't like. These are not good options as far as tourniquets go. The first one is an old soft tourniquet. So it's not a soft T wide. It is, uh, has a strap that's about an inch. And from the research that I've seen, and that has been done for a strap to apply the right amount of pressure to a limb to cut off circulation, you need it to be about an inch and a half to two inches. So this being an only an inch doesn't get you a lot of surface area on the limb. The other thing about these, as you can see, is the hardware is kind of prehistoric, it is old, and it rusts, it's kind of hard to use. Yes, this would work in a pinch. I more just keep this one around because it's a training tool and people can compare this to the new ones and the cats. Uh, that's the, I don't really use it. Just keep it around as kind of a, a demo TQ. Next is the SWAT tourniquet. And this is just basically a big elastic rubber band. And it does not work very well as a tourniquet. It does, however, work well as a pressure bandage. So if you had another piece of cloth or something underneath this that you could wrap tight uh, and use as a pressure bandage, um, it does work in that type of capacity, that type of role. But again, not the best as a tourniquet. It just doesn't apply enough pressure. Some people like to use these for kids and dogs because their limbs are smaller and you can wrap these tight, but still, do not recommend the SWATs as an actual tourniquet. They're, they're just not up to par. Again, you just can't get them tight enough in my experience. And I know that's the experience of a lot of other guys out there. Next is the infamous RATS tourniquet. Don't like this. These were hot for about a minute. Everyone likes the form factor because they're nice and small and thin. You can run it through your belt loop, um, hide these pretty easily. But... Like I said, with the old tourniquet down there, you're only looking at like maybe three quarters of an inch width on this. Um, and it's gonna kind of act as like a garrote. People have said these have caused tissue damage and it's hard to get, um, it's hard to cut off circulation with, with one of these. So rats, I'd stay away from these. Again, the form factor is nice, but the main job of these is to stop bleeding and it doesn't do a great job at that next let's look at the rmt you guys might you might have seen this one before i really like these these are great tourniquets kind of unique different from a lot of the other ones we just saw no windlass as you can see but instead instead it uses a ratchet the ratchet is nice it's very easy to tighten stuff down kids can do it uh, you don't have to worry about it slipping um, cause it just bites in and then to loosen it, you really have to be intentional about it. You lift up this tab and you can loosen pressure. These are great for self application. This handle right here is actually to bite on. So you can stick this in your mouth. If you have to, uh, tourniquet an arm, you can slip this over, bite this, cinch it down and ratchet it. I mean, you can get these things very, very tight width on these is two inches. So nice and thick. Form factor is also great because you can get really flat and they're very uh, flexible. So you can bundle this all up, shove it in like a 
grenade pouch or your pocket or rubber band it and stick it in a bag like this is this is nice and tiny there are some other great videos on this tourniquet out there on youtube go check out ivan over at kit badger he carries one of these around all the time you'll always if you're ever around ivan you'll see one of these in his back pocket or one of his pockets uh he's been using one for a while again rmt very cool tourniquet check these out um, I don't know of any like aftermarket support for them as far as like carriers, tourniquet holders or carriers, but I'm sure there's some out there. They're not exactly brand new to the market, but they are underrated in my opinion. Last but not least, Snake, S Snake Staff Official. They make these smaller tourniquets. These are very, very popular right now. They're hard to get. They, they do drops like every so often and they get sold out and probably like five to 10 minutes. Everyone likes them because of the form factor, very small, but they also have a little, they have some unique features that I think um, is thinking outside the box. I think they did a good job. The, the, intention, the intention was good with these features. First one that's gonna stick out is this level right here. Just kidding, it's a chem light. It's a chem light, so you can crack this. And now if you're doing a tourniquet in the dark, this is a quick, visual reference this will be glowing you can see it. it uses those little tiny chem lights now you're going to say well what if you crack it and you need it replaced super easy there's a set screw right there you unwind that drop another chem in there put your set screw back in and you got a brand new chem light on your tourniquet this is the bigger one they make believe it or not um there are some tests out there on these tourniquets they use uh like doppler radar to see the blood flow in a person's leg or limb to see if these are actually cutting cutting the circulation. And uh, I'll try to link that below to those tests. Again, these are very new, but very, very popular, mainly because of the form factor. Another feature on here that I like is the windlass retention. So it's kind of like a one-way carabiner hook. Pop that in there, and this thing is not popping out. And to, uh, to get it out of here, you have to be very intentional. So another nice little feature that they did um, that just gives it gives it some more value. Thinking thinking beyond just just a cat or just a soft soft tea tourniquet. So this again is the bigger one. This is the smaller one. Now I might have this one is questionable again because the strap is so thin. This is meant to fit in a pistol mag pouch, and it easily does that. You can see how small this thing is. I mean, that's my hand. Look how tiny it is. Uses the chem light, uses the same windlass retention system. Um, just the straps, really, really small. This will probably, you can probably use this on an arm, uh, an adult arm, a kid arm, a dog, but putting this on a thick old thigh with a big old chunky boy, you're probably not going to, it's probably not gonna cut the mustard. So time will tell. With both of these, I have more faith in this one as far as time goes, I think this one, this one's a winner. Um, again, there's tests out the out there on these already. Snake staff tourniquets. Go check them out. I really, really like these. Okay, guys, those are some tourniquet options. These are the ones I like right now. Can't go wrong with a good old cat. Make sure you're not getting fake ones. There are fake cats out there. Great way to tell off the bat, but it's not foolproof, is if you go to the back of the um, tourniquet right here, the words, the lettering is, uh, it is raised above the panel here, so you can feel it. It's not flat, so it's got some texture. The fake ones are, there's no, they don't, the lettering isn't raised, so it's just all flat, but I can feel this, I can feel the C, I can feel the A, the T, so... That's one quick way to tell, but again, there's a lot of good fakes out there. You don't want to be using a Chinese knockoff tourniquet in an emergency. This one has been kind of my go-to lately just because, of again, it's so thin. The RMT, it's light, easy to self-apply. Um, definitely going to be, be picking up some more of these. The Snake Staff, hard to find, hard to get. You got to get on their email list. You got to get on their notifications for social media because they do drops from time to time. And again, they sell out so quick. Excited to see what the future holds for these tourniquets. Again, because the form factor and they got some great additional features. So there are some tourniquet options. Make sure you have some. They're important. 
they are a perishable. They do wear out. They do break down. So make sure you're replacing them and checking them frequently. Guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps. Go over to wisemencompany.com. That's the best way to support us. A lot of great gear over there. And uh, again, we appreciate all that support. We really do. We'll see you on the next one.